CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 6 The Triangle and Its Properties Page 127 6.8 Right-angled triangles and Pythagoras property Pythagoras, a Greek philosopher of 6th century BC, is said to have found a very important and useful property of right-angled triangles given in this section. The property is hence named after him. In fact, this property was known to people of many other countries too. The Indian mathematician Baudhayan has also given an equivalent form of this property. We now try to explain the Pythagoras property. In a right-angled triangle, the sides have some special names. The side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are known as the legs of the right-angled triangle. In triangle ABC, figure 6.23, the right angle is at B. So, AC is the hypotenuse. Line segments AB and line segment BC are the legs of triangle ABC. Make eight identical copies of right-angled triangle of any size you prefer. For example, you make a right-angled triangle whose hypotenuse is A units long and the legs are of lengths B units and C units. Figure 6.24 Draw two identical squares on a sheet with sides of lengths B plus C. You are to place four triangles in one square and the remaining four triangles in the other square, as shown in the following diagram. Figure 6.25 Two squares Square A and square B are given. Figure 6.25 here shows two squares, square A and square B. Page 128 The squares are identical. The eight triangles inserted are also identical. Hence, the uncovered area of square A is equal to uncovered area of square B, that is, area of inner square of square A is equal to the total area of two uncovered squares in square B. A square is equal to B square plus C square. This is Pythagoras property. It may be stated as follows. In a right-angled triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the legs. Pythagoras' property is a very useful tool in mathematics. It is formally proved as a theorem in later classes you should be clear about its meaning. It says that for any right-angled triangle, the area of the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares on the legs. Draw a right triangle, preferably on a square sheet. Construct squares on its sides. Compute the area of these squares and verify the theorem practically. 
figure 6.26. If you have a right angled triangle, the Pythagoras property holds. If the Pythagoras property holds for some triangle, will the triangle be right angled? Such problems are known as converse problems. We will try to answer this. Now, we will show that if there is a triangle such that some of the squares on two of its sides is equal to the square of the third side, it must be a right-angled triangle. Do this. 1. Have cutouts of squares with sides 4 cm, 5 cm, 6 cm long. Arrange to get a triangular shape by placing the corners of the squares suitably as shown in the figure, figure 6.27. Trace out the triangle formed. Measure each angle of the triangle. You find that there is no right angle at all. In fact, in this case, each angle will be acute. Note that 4 square plus 5 square is not equal to 6 square. 5 square plus 6 square is not equal to 4 square. And 6 square plus 4 square is not equal to 5 square. Page 129 2. Repeat the above activity with squares whose sides have lengths 4 cm, 5 cm and 7 cm. You get an obtuse angled triangle. Note that 4 square plus 5 square is not equal to 7 square, etc. This shows that Pythagoras property holds if and only if the triangle is right angled. Hence, we get this fact. If the Pythagoras property holds, the triangle must be right angled. Example 5. Determine whether the triangle whose lengths of sides are 3 cm, 4 cm, 5 cm, is a right-angled triangle. Solution 3 square is equal to 3 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 9. 4 square is equal to 4 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 16. 5 square is equal to 5 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 25. We find 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. Therefore, the triangle is right-angled. Note, in any right-angled triangle, the hypotenuse happens to be the longest side. In this example, the side with length 5 cm is the hypotenuse. Example 6 Triangle ABC is right angled at C. If AC is equal to 5 cm and BC is equal to 12 cm, find the length of AB. Solution a rough figure will help us. Figure 6.28 A right-angled triangle ABC is given with angle C equal to 90 degrees. AC is equal to 5 cm and BC is equal to 12 cm. By Pythagoras property, AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square, which is equal to 
5 square plus 12 square, which is equal to 25 plus 144, which is equal to 169, which is equal to 13 square, or AB square is equal to 13 square. So, AB is equal to 13, or the length of AB is 13 centimeters. Note, to identify perfect squares, you may use prime factorization technique. Try these. Find the unknown length x in the following figures. Figure 6.29. We have six different triangles given here. Page 130. Exercise 6.5. 1. PQR is a triangle right angled at P. If PQ is equal to 10 centimeters and PR is equal to 24 centimeters, find QR. 2. ABC is a triangle right angled at C. If AB is equal to 25 centimeters and AC is equal to 7 centimeters, find BC. 3. A 15 meter long ladder reached a window 12 meters high from the ground on placing it against a wall at a distance A. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. A ladder is given with length 15 meters and height of wall is 12 meters. 4. Which of the following can be the sides of a right triangle? 1. 2.5 centimeters, 6.5 centimeters, 6 centimeters. 2. 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 5 centimeters. 3. 1.5 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 2.5 centimeters. In the case of right angled triangles, identify the right angles. 5. A tree is broken at a height of 5 meters from the ground and its top touches the ground at a distance of 12 meters from the base of the tree. Find the original height of the tree. 6. Angles Q and R of a triangle PQR are 25 degrees and 65 degrees. Write which of the following is true. 1. PQ square plus QR square is equal to RP square. 2. PQ square plus RP square is equal to QR square. 3. RP square plus QR square is equal to PQ square. Triangle PQR is given with angle Q equal to 25 degrees and angle R equal to 65 degrees. 7. Find the perimeter of the rectangle whose length is 40 centimeters and a diagonal is 41 centimeters. 8. The diagonals of a rhombus measure 16 centimeters and 30 centimeters. Find its perimeter. Page 131. Think, discuss, and write. 1. Which is the longest side in the triangle PQR right angled at P? 2. Which is the longest side in the triangle ABC right angled at B? 3. Which is the longest side of a right triangle? 4. 
the diagonal of a rectangle produced by itself the same area as produced by its length and breadth. This is Bodhayan theorem. Compare it with the Pythagoras property. Do this. Enrichment activity. There are many proofs for Pythagoras theorem using dissection and rearrangement procedure. Try to collect a few of them and draw charts explaining them. What have we discussed? 1. The six elements of a triangle are its three angles and the three sides. 2. The line segment joining a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side is called a median of the triangle. A triangle has three medians. 3. The perpendicular line segment from a vertex of a triangle to its opposite side is called an altitude of the triangle. A triangle has three altitudes. 4. An exterior angle of a triangle is formed when a side of a triangle is produced. At each vertex, you have two ways of forming an exterior angle. 5. A property of exterior angles. The measure of any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of its interior opposite angles. 6. The angle sum property of a triangle. The total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. 7. A triangle is said to be equilateral if each one of its sides has the same length. In an equilateral triangle, each angle has measure 60 degrees. 8. A triangle is said to be isosceles if at least any two of its sides are of same length. The non-equal side of an isosceles triangle is called its base. The base angles of an isosceles triangle have equal measure. 9. Property of the lengths of sides of a triangle. The sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. The difference between the lengths of any two sides is smaller than the length of the third side. Page 132 This property is useful to know if it is possible to draw a triangle when the lengths of the three sides are known. 10. In a right-angled triangle, the side opposite to the right angle is called the hypotenuse and the other two sides are called its legs. 11. Pythagoras property In a right-angled triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on its legs. If a triangle is not right-angled, this property does not hold good. This property is useful to decide whether a given triangle is right-angled or not. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator, Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production, Samya Malik.
Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India